Hello, Dr. Sean Nalen here. Glad to be here for episode 25. Uh, I, you know, this, this study on the book of Acts has really been carrying us through, Elder Collins, and we could not finish it all last week, so we had to do part two this week. Okay. Yes. Um, so today, I'm joined by uh, my good friend, Elder Ron Collins. He is a faithful brother in the Lord. He really uh, leads our men in the Bible study. And when before COVID, I mean, this guy never missed a day. These are the type of faithful brothers I think the book of Acts talks about, actually, uh, where you keep working in the ministry of the Lord. And now he has moved to online. So men, join him every Wednesday online for the weekly Bible study. Okay, so I'm going to ask that our producer will put that up on the screen. Um, so if you look on the screen behind me, you'll see where you can sign up weekly for the men's Bible study. That's now every Wednesday with uh, Elder Ron Collins. Okay, so Elder Collins, again, welcome. Tell Thank us you. more Thank about you. yourself and your ministry. How long have you been at Highland? I have been at Highland here for maybe 20 years. 20 years. I actually years. went to Highland as a child back in the 70s. No way. Yes, sir. <laughs> then you moved to Arizona. No, I never moved there. Anywhere. Where was I've it? been in Portland the whole time. You've been in Portland the entire time. Yes, sir. But your mom is in New Arizona, New Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico. Okay. All right. Excellent. And so what, what, what is your passion for ministry? Why do you keep serving uh, the Lord all of these years in ministry? Well, it, it's, it's be, because of the joy that I have. You know, I got this treasure, you know, from the Lord, you know, this understanding, this new life. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, and so as I've received it, you know, I, I feel the need to give it away. Amen. Can't keep it to, to myself. It's too much. You know? Yes. The amen. Lord is that big, you know, but there's people out there that are hurt. There's people out there hurting. There's people out there lost, deceived, and they need to hear the word. You know, the the the, uh, the Bible says you should know the truth, and the truth should make Same you free. And, and we all have friends, family, you know, loved ones, neighbors. You know, we all watch the news and see the chaos that's going Ooh, on around it's us. It's some and, chaos. You know, we had I, death last night. I understand. Exactly. There was mm -hmm. a protester shot again last night. You know, wow. we know about the two that the young. Uh, uh, in, in Kenosha, yeah, Wisconsin. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's just... Uh, Which also shows, by the way, a disparity in how he was treated walking down the street with a, a weapon. Exactly. And, and, exactly. and versus exactly. uh, what happened to uh, Jacob uh, yes, just uh, a few uh, days before, uh, shot seven times in the in back. In the back. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. Which has always been deemed a cowardice act yes. in, in, yes. in society. And right? I did see that there was a tussle on the other side of the car. I get that. But seven times just does not seem yeah, like the appropriate uh, use of force uh, by the police in that case. Yes. And, and just to touch on that point, they're, they're, I don't know what chapter. It's early in Acts where the disciples were out preaching. Yes. And, and that the... the I can't remember the magistrate or somebody accused them of turning the world upside down. Absolutely. No, actually, they were trying to turn the world <laughs> yeah, right side right up. up. But right now, we're in the living in a time where it's upside down. Yes. And, and it, it, they need the word. We need Jesus. We need to but, turn it right. But, but Pastor Collins, you said something. In these days, we're living in the last and evil exactly. days, right? Perilous so times. perilous times. Right. So evil will be called good. good. And good will be spoken of as evil. And so, so we will be accused of doing wrong when you're, as a preacher, I'm trying to do good for the church exactly. or good for the community. Right. But I have heard that it has been spoken evil of. Exactly. And, 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 and when those who would do evil, it, it, it gets reversed and say, oh, that's a good thing to do. Yes, yes. You know, and because the they're part of the militia, helping the police, for instance. The exactly. guy who shot the two uh, protesters the other night. Um, it seems like if you're a part of a militia, you have been accepted. Well, well, the guy was, he had at least three strikes. He was out of state. Mm -hmm. He was underage. Mm -hmm. and, he, he, he saw and the himself, weapon was not legal. Well, he was too young to have it. Too young to have it, okay. And then, and then he was breaking the curfew. So 
That's three strikes. Three right strikes there. right there. So so you know that incident would have never happened if he'd have stayed at home in Indiana. Yeah, exactly. Or, or Illinois. Or Illinois. Right? Illinois. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so again, I love your opening because the world does need the gospel, and that leads us to our text today. So we're gonna go to Acts the nineteenth chapter. And we are looking at verse 21. So again, now Paul is on his third missionary journey. So I want you to pick up where we left off last week. So Acts 19, verse 21, I'll be reading from the NIV version. Okay. It says, after all this had happened, Paul decided to go to Jerusalem, passing through Macedonia and Achaia. After I have been there, he said, I must visit Rome also. He sent two of his helpers, Timothy and Erastus, to Macedonia, while he stayed in the province of Asia a little longer. Then verse 23. Here's what a riot happened, and it applies to what we're talking about today. Um, about that time, there arose a great disturbance about the way. A silversmith named Demetrius who made silver shrines in Artemis, brought in no little business for the craftsmen. He called them together along with the workmen in uh, related trades and said, Men, you know we receive a good income from this business. And you see in here how this fellow Paul has convinced and led astray large number of people here in Ephesus and in practically the whole province of Asia. He says that man-made gods are no gods at all. I'll read that apart again. He says that man-made gods are no gods at all. Then in verse uh, 27, he says, There is danger not only that our trade will lose its good name, but also that the temple of the great goddess Artemis, or Diana, will be discredited. And the goddess herself, who is worshipped throughout the province of Asia and the world, will be robbed of her divine majesty. Wow. And so this is a great attack, Elder Collins, coming upon Paul. A great riot rises up. Paul is on his third missionary journey. Uh, as you know, Timothy, uh, his protege, yes, he sir. trained up Timothy uh, to travel. And then he has Erastus. It's also mentioned, in, uh, again, in 2 Timothy. So we know these are servants of the Lord. Again, they remind me of yourself, servants of the Lord who are faithful, who, who, who work hard for the kingdom of God. So uh, they were upset. This man named Demetrius was upset because Paul says, hey, don't worship false gods. Any gods made with hands is not a real god at all. Correct. And he was stopping their worship in the temple because when people would come to worship the goddess Artemis or Diana, that's how they made their money. You know, from the trade. By night, buying idols. And buying and, idols. And giving offerings. And giving offerings. Exactly. And so they're like, Paul is persuading people about this new gospel of Jesus Christ. But look, a riot broke up and they were trying to shut the gospel down. I believe there will always be naysayers who will try to stop the gospel message. Even in the church, there is infighting. I know of no church, including Highland Christian Center, that there is not infighting. It happens. But here's what I would say. Even in America, we have had to fight for religious freedom. And sometimes uh, it appears that we can't express our, our biblical views and people try to shut us down. How would you encourage the church not to fight itself and to keep going and not stop preaching the gospel. Well, uh, it, it, as far as not fighting, uh, I, I would just, you know, voice or uh, point out the fact that, you know, we're all on the same team. Amen? Yeah. We're, we're a body, amen. And we're, yes. We're, we're supposed to uh, be joined together and we're supposed to work together and, uh, you know, and complement each other. But, mm. I, I, you know, when I first read that, I thought about how Jesus, when he's put forth the parable of the tars. 
yes. and the wheat. The wheat. And yes. so we have to remember that yes. everybody in the church is not saved. No. And another thing we have to realize is that I mean, the, the enemy souls souls tear exactly. among the wheat. Right. There's like literally, here. there's people he here. He literally plants exactly. people to cause dissension and division. And they're here. They're mm -hmm. here in Isla. Mm -hmm. they're, they're out there. They're know, everywhere. There in church. Yep. And so we have to realize that, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we have to we we have to pray and we have to, but we have to do the best we can. And, yes. And we have to check ourselves. Mm -hmm. I have to make sure that I'm in line. In line. And, and That's that right. I'm, uh, you know. Uh, Following the the the, uh, ah, the word the word, the word of God the word the word but mm -hmm. uh, you know the I, I that I'm united with the church yes. you know and the vision right that's what I meant to right, say okay. right 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 yeah and and, and uh, what was the second part of that that part of it was How then what would you say to others you know outside of the church I mean to us to encourage the church to keep preaching the gospel in times like these because because people be, make idols right. I believe out of TV. Yeah. Politics, telephone, telephone, <laughs> media, <laughs> exactly. You know, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I like to just just report. You know, I'm glad to report that it, is that you know I know many pastors, mm -hmm. and you know, and I know many saints, mm -hmm. and then because of COVID, I don't see them like I used to see them. Right. But when I do see people, they're still encouraged. Mm -hmm. Now I've, I've not run into anybody who's ready to ditch the faith. Yes. You know, and I'm talking about pastors and then the people I fellowship with on Facebook, family members. You know, I, I see where people are going through stuff and they ask for prayer, you know, mm -hmm. and on Facebook. And, Absolutely. And then you see the comments where people say, I'm praying for you and God bless. And, and so I watch those people, you know, they, they post that. But then two weeks later, they're back, you know, you can tell that they're out of their issue or whatever because uh, they're posting, yeah. you know, uh, uh Hi, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't, would you I don't say things say that are not becoming, they, yeah, yeah, exactly. not becoming of their faith? Well, not, not, okay. not becoming of their faith, but things that, that shows a positive attitude. Okay, like, okay. Like they have joy, you know, they've, okay, they've so gotten you're their saying joy back. The issue they, is, they show that they they're making the progress. Exactly. Making, okay, exactly. gotcha, gotcha. Like my auntie, for, for one, for instance, she, she has COVID right now. Wow. She, she's quarantined. We're praying she's for a, She's a frontline worker. She works at mm. Kaiser, so mm. she contracted it at work. And, but she's at home, you know, and she's quarantined. And then her son, you Is know, she showing any of the symptoms? I, you know what? They, they said don't call, you know, call the, the daughter if you have any concerns. Did not put any but, pressure but, you know, on her. I mean, but they, again, they post, you know, she's, you, she's doing well. She's doing so. Well, I'm not going to. Exactly. What's they, her name? Can we, her name is Denise Douglas. Denise Douglas. Please pray for Denise who's battling COVID-19. Right. And she stays in the house with her son. Okay. So her son had to get tested and found out he, he was negative. He was negative. So, so but he good. still has to isolate from yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so, uh, and so, like I said, you know, um, I, I believe people are encouraged. You know, I, I, I attended a, a function yesterday, and there were some saints there, and I was invited, invited by Deacon uh, Lampkin. Oh, John you know, Lampkin, right, right. Minister Lampkin. Yeah. And he, I he, think I saw that on Facebook this morning. Yeah, actually. yeah. And he, and, and, and he told me, oh, I ain't seen you since COVID started. And I, I had to think about it. I, I thought I saw you. No, because we yeah. talk on the phone. Yes. But I hadn't seen him since COVID. Yes. I mean, but then, and you guys are pretty close. Right, right. But he, he, he has joy. You know he what I'm saying? That, that, you know, I'm just not seeing any, anybody losing faith at this Amen. point. So we need to keep our faith in times like these, uh, keep preaching the gospel, uh, keep loving one another, communicating with right. one another, stay in touch. Right. All right. Now, so now Paul wants to get out and get involved. Um, and I want to go to our second point uh, where Paul actually is trying to get out. Now, it says um, uh, in uh, verse 26. I'm sorry, 28 of, of, of Acts 19. It says, when they heard this, they were furious and began shouting, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. Um, soon, the whole city was in an uproar. Sounds like Kenosha. Sounds like Portland. Sounds like many of our major cities these days. The people seized Gaius and Aristarchus. Uh, Paul's traveling companion, so there you go, he has two more. He had Timothy, um, Erastus, and now Gaius and Aristarchus. And Paul's traveling companions from Macedonia and rushed as one man into the theater. 
But then, listen to this. Paul wanted to appear before the crowd, but the disciples would not let him in. Even some of the officials of the province, friends of Paul, sent him a message begging him not to venture into the theater because they were fearing that For Paul, safety. yeah, his safety yes. was that. And even now, I want to be downtown in Portland every day. Or, right, right, but right, what? Right. It is dangerous right now. Yeah. Yeah. And people are looking to do evil intentions. Right. They are looking to hurt people. And, and, and it's not what protesting is about. Protesting is about making a, a statement when something egregious has been done, a heinous crime. Uh, but a peaceful march in Kenosha the other day, they had a peaceful march led by uh, the family, and that was peaceful. But the riots break out, and people now are meeting not to, to, to they're just pitting against one another, right. sides and parties. And that's what it kind of was like here. It was like, we want to destroy anything to do with the gospel message in Ephesus and the Christian because you're messing up our business. So um, what, what I want to ask you is that Paul makes this argument is not a God a God that's crafted by hands is really not God. He was right, of course, uh, but I want to focus on that. Many times we worship things in this world, Elder Collins, that are not of God and are essentially idols that we have made with our own hands uh, as, as, as Christians. And we have to be careful with that. Right. So uh, what, what could you give us some examples of things we got to be careful that we begin to put and exalt higher than God? Exactly. And make idols. Uh, so many things, Pastor. It's, it's <laughs> just the list. <laughs> yeah, goes on even on. other people, don't we? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, devils. <laughs> yeah, we idolize people. And yeah. one of my pet peeves of things, uh, the, the TV show that I just can't bear to watch, and the name just gives me <laughs> the, the willies, you yeah, know, yeah. American Idol. Oh, you know, because the Bible yes. says that, you know, we're not to idolize anything. You yes. Know? And, and so they idolize these people, and you idolize these... these um, uh, um, athletes, you mm -hmm. idolize these uh, just famous people, you know, and mm -hmm. they call them stars, you know, and uh, it's it's just a dangerous thing. We have to ide identify idols, you know, in our lives or possible uh, idols. The, the phones, you know, people are on Definitely. the phones. Definitely social know. media. Right, right, right. And, and another thing, I mean, we can get addicted to social media. Exactly. And TV. It used to be TV. Yeah. We used to tell people, don't watch TV, turn off the TV, pray more, fast more, call somebody, talk to them. But now, it is the phone. It is the phone. Well, well the Spirit <laughs> guarded me or warned me against going out and getting bigger and bigger TVs, you know. <laughs> you go out, and people are getting these 80 Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, you're trying to step on my territory. No, 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 I'm, not, no, I'm, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I, got, I got a 60-inch for football. That, I love football. That, oh, mine is, mine is 60 <laughs> You know, but yeah. I, I, you know, but not the big eighty and the ninety. I actually bought it used. You know, it was. Yeah. You know, I, I bought it used. You know, from a guy that was selling it online. Yeah. But so I got a deal on it. But right. but the thing is, you know, when the when the spirit, you know, kind of warned me against it, it was like you go out and buy this ADS TV, then you got to have surround sound so you can hear it better. Yeah. And then once you put in that fifteen hundred dollars, then you got to justify that cost by watching it. Yes. You know what I'm saying. Yes. And, and yes. So when you when you don't spend time with the Lord, but you're, you you know, you're in the TV, you're on the phone, you know, you do all these things. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. And so I try to keep that principle in my life. In the morning, I, morning hours, I try to give it to the Lord. Yes. Devotion, you Devotion. know. And, and so, and the Bible also says, love not... Uh, Oh, shit. The world, no, yeah, or the things the world, there are the things in. in it. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's for, right. For all that's in the world, lust of flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of pride life. of life, are not of the Father, but is of the world. And and so they're, they're, we just have to identify things that can creep up and be idols. Become idols, you know, like me, and we like cars. And and you know, if you have a nice car, then. You know, I see guys out there shining them, buffing them, and you know, putting all this time into this car. Spirit you know, I gotta like admit, when I was a young guy, I, yeah, yeah, I did. Yes, sir. I, yes, I sir. would get out every Saturday. I had the, I had white 
uh, white, white walls. walls. I yeah. had white yeah. walls. Yeah. I scrubbed those white walls. I had the rims. I had all that when I was a teenager. Yes, exactly. Sir. But, you know, when you, when you walk in the spirit, the spirit warns you. Those things, things like don't that. become so and, and important. They, you know, because the things that might draw me might not draw the next person. Yes. But So I have to identify the things that can draw me and yes. take away my time. You know, and, and we, of course, even worship, people will miss Sunday worship because of idols, right? Things that become prominent in their lives and say, hey, it's Sunday service I can't make because I got these, you know, to chores I do or right. certain tasks I like. This is the only day I get. And I'm like, well, what about the Lord? Did give him two hours of your 144 hours. Give the Lord at least two, right. you know, and, and so, yeah. Yeah, and in times, the times we live in, you know, I mean, the distractions, you know, just the news. And I mean, for me, I mean, I would be in tears if I just focused on this stuff, it's you know, but the Bible says tough. Uh, he'll, keep, he'll keep the imperfect peace whose mind, mind is stayed. stayed well. And that's how I keep my peace. Mm -hmm. That's how I get, keep my peace because the devil will try to uh, draw us into fear, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and tempt us and, and, and distract us with, with, with things that are fearful. But I keep my mind on the Lord. That's mm -hmm. how I'm able to keep my peace. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm able to keep my joy. Well, and let me ask you a, qu a question about that. So, so idols can be things uh, that's created by hands and man. But could idols also be our own uh, idiosyncrasies? Can we make those into idols? I.e., there's a certain way we like to do things. There's a certain... Uh, ritual that we go through and lifestyle can those become idols? Oh yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, most definitely, most definitely. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, when I think about the the things I do, again, you know, I I have to I have to be in the spirit, you know. Yeah. I have to look at this thing. I have to look at this thing and how it pertains pertains to my walk with God. Mm -hmm. You know, is is this thing more important? Then God is it the godly thing I'm doing, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, but when, you so know, lifestyles, uh, devices, devices, all this stuff can become money, my, fame. I was, I was, oh. <laughs> that's where I was at. Yeah, I, I was at money. Money, yeah. money can be a distraction. And, you know? and the money is not bad. No, money in itself, in itself is not bad. It's the love of money, right? That's that, a root exactly. of all evil. Well, what I guard against is I'm, I'm thinking the money is the answer. No, money is not the answer. No. God is the answer. God is, God the, is answer. the answer. In money, you. money is never the answer. So, yes. so, you know, all of us are a little short sometimes, you know, and some of us have <laughs> abundance, you know, no. but it's not the answer. It's not the answer. It's not the answer. God is the answer. Because we've seen stars with riches take their um, take their lives and and you know even commit suicide and so it's definitely not money and fame and having people around you all of those things are futile and short when compared to the Lord exactly. all right well thank you um, now as we move to our final uh, uh, question here now the crowd is um, uh, uh, quiet down. Uh, in verse 35, uh, they sent out the clerk um, in uh, verse 35. And I want to read where that picks up. In verse 35, it says, Then the city clerk quieted the crowd and said, Men of Ephesus, doesn't all the world know that the city of Ephesus is the guardian of the temple of the great Artemis and of her image? which fell from heaven? Therefore, since the facts are undeniable, you ought to be quiet and not do anything rash. You have brought these men here, brought these men here, though they have neither robbed temples nor blasphemed our goddess. If then Demetrius and his fellow craftsmen have a grievance against anybody, the courts are open and these are the proposals they can press charges. Oh, I'm sorry. These are the uh, pro councils, which means uh, other judges around, and they can press charges. But if there is anything further you want to bring up, it must be settled in a legal assembly. As it is, we are in danger of being charged with rioting because of today's event. In that case, we will not be able to account 
for this commotion, since there is no reason for it. And then the Bible, I love it, the way the Bible ends it. After it, or after he led them said, after he had said this, he dismissed the assembly. So they were gone. Right. So he, he quieted them now. Now, not that we agree with his logic, because his logic was that the great God of, you know, or uh, Artemis or Diana, and he was just trying to quiet down the crowd. But he was right in one thing. Paul really hadn't taken money from them. He was just preaching the gospel truth. Right. And they could exactly. not find any cause against him, even Demetrius, who was upset and was causing all the ruckus, even Demetrius had to walk away. So here it is. It, there's been, we've been discussing this to, to, to church, and I just want you to wrap it up right here. Uh, we've seen the false teachings, people pretending to be God, uh, but of the devil. These types of things brought confusion um, and chaos in the early church. And here we finally see how the gospel was even attacked, and it had been attacked over and over again. What would you say to us? To keep preaching the gospel, how would you encourage us to walk in love for one another and that encouragement to the church today in these times like these? Your final thoughts. Amen. Uh, well, uh, my encouragement would be is just, just again, just, just hang on to the Lord. Amen. Trust in the Lord mm -hmm. with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. The, the God we serve is bigger than all this. You mm -hmm. know, the, this COVID thing, you know, uh, God's in control. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says there's no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I, you know, David had to encourage himself in the yes. Lord. Amen. When the encourage people wanted yourself. to stone him, yes. you know. And, yes. and so, you know, it's the Lord. So King David, they wanted to stone King David. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. When he yes. was out on an adventure and yes. the Amalekites came yes. in and took off the people, the wives, the children. And when they got back, the men were upset. <laughs> exactly. Yes. They were upset and they wanted to stone David and... David had to encourage himself in the Lord. In Amen. The Lord. And I would advise everybody to encourage themselves in the Lord. That means get in the word and and find, you know, dig, dig mm. deep, you know. And, I like what you're you saying. Know, there, there's nuggets in there, yes. you know, and you got to unearth them. Amen. Yes. They ain't going to unearth it themselves. Yes. Amen. I, you know, so, but they're in there, you know, and, and, and it, it's just encouraging. I mean, Psalms 27, 14, wait on the Lord mm. and be of good courage. Yes. Amen. So so some people are waiting on the Lord, but what's your attitude while you're waiting? Mm. It says be of good courage. Be of good Amen. courage. Amen. And, and so uh, Philippians 4, 4 says rejoice in the Lord always. Always. That, that means always. That doesn't mean sometimes. That, that doesn't mean sometimes. Amen. Yes. And, and uh, of course, uh, what is it? First Peter. Mm -hmm. uh, one, count it all. No, it's not First Peter. Count it all joy. Yeah, yeah, count it all joy. Mm -hmm. um, Sufferings and it, when you're going through trials. And exactly. I want to say it's James. It, it is James. It is James. It is James. Yes, it is yes. James. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm, I'm with you. I'm tracking with you. I right, love right, the way right. you quote. But the way you quote that Bible is only because you believe it. You read it. it you put it in you. And that's what sustains us in times like these with COVID-19, with uh, the racial in insurrections Correct. and uprisings Correct. and violence in our cities. Yeah, we, we, we have to understand that God is in control. Amen. God, God is not sitting on his throne, biting his fingernails, hoping things... No, no, no. God, God already has... God has this. Mm -hmm. you, God has this, you know, that, that um, we just have to believe it. Uh, Romans eight twenty eight. All things work all together. Things. All things. That's not some things. Yes. That's all things. And I think that's a good place to end it right there, isn't it? Yes, Romans sir. eight twenty eight. All things. All things. Work together for good. Right. And COVID is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> to them who love the Lord. Yeah. And who are called according to His purpose. Amen. Who are the called? The called. Because many are called. So you were chosen. chosen. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Elder Collins. This has been a great uh, session, and I want to thank you for helping us unpack this complicated Acts 19. Uh, remember to join us each week. Uh, all week, we're praying this week. All week, every day, 1230. Prayer is every day, 1230. Uh, the number is on your screen. We appreciate your support and your giving. Reach out to somebody. Tell them you love them and just show them that the gospel message is real. We are Highland Community, uh, Highland Christian Center, building community Amen. and changing lives. Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you.